Hi friends, welcome back to the, our channel. In this video, we will design a small robot car and controlling with this help of this new Blink app. Okay, let's go and start to make this robot. Just do electronics. All about electronics. We designed this robot to require this few components like this one is this MDF board and here I just use this ESP32 microcontroller board. This one is this DRV883 motor driver. 4 N20 motors. Four N20 motor wheels. And this one is a small power bank to I providing this proper power supply. Okay, let's go and see the circuit diagram. The main part of the circuit diagram is the ESP32 microcontroller board and the motor driver will be connected to this pin number D13, D12, D14, and D27. This one is the DRB883 motor driver. And I use this 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. This one is the rechargeable battery. And I use this on and off switch. This one is the N20 motor. And we connected to this output 1, output 2, output 3, and output 4. Okay, let's go and make this hardware. Here I just use this MDF board. Now I just connected to this uh, N20 motors with the help of this some screw. And I fix this motor. Now I connected to this wire to the N20 motors properly. And when I wire is the fix, I'm the soldering it is looking like this. Now is the hardware will be completed. I put this front of this uh, MDF board is the ESP32 board and motor driver and backside I soldering N20 motors and connected to this motor driver. Okay, now set up this blink app. Go to the web dashboard. I uh, select this proper sliding button slider and we take this four switch slider is the working like that the speed variation and the four switch with the light forward backward right and left direction okay now i change this name is the slider to the speed create this data stream and choose this virtual pin i choose this virtual v5 pins and i set this maximum value is the 255 now i create it I change this first switch name is this forward. And create this data stream. I use this virtual pin. V1 and create it. Like that. I choose this second switch is this name. I edit this name is the backward. Create this data stream. Choose this virtual pin V4 and create it. It did this name is the left. Create data stream. Choose virtual pin V2 and create it. The last one is this right. Create data stream. Choose virtual pin is the V3. And create it. Now the web server will be completed and is ready to working. Now we create this mobile app. First, open this app and go to the setting. Choose this. I mean, just select this slider button and four buttons on and off button. Now I edit this name. First I select this speed, I mean the sliding button. Second one is this forward button. And I just edit this title name is the forward. Label is the forward, forward. The second one is the left. Title name is left. Label is the left, left. Like that is the right button. Title name is the right. Label is the right, right. The last one is this backward button. Title name is the I set this backward. Label is the backward backward. 
Now the app will be completed. Now we explain this code first is required to this uh, library to install it and motor driver will be connected to this pin number 13 12 14 27 this one is the boolean function is the forward backward right and left and you put your authentic key ssid and password properly this one is the void setup functions and this one is the virtual pin function okay when i click this uh, v1 i mean this push this v1 button the robot car will be going this forward direction backward direction left direction right direction okay and here I define this, uh, I mean this motor driver functions, uh, the forward is the low, high, high, low, backward, left and right function. And when, if I not clicking any button, the car will be stopped. Okay, go to this tool, select this proper board. I use this ESP32 board. That's why I just select this properly. Now we, now we will connect this USB cable and hit this uploading button. In the few seconds, the code will be uploaded in this ESP32 board. Okay, let's go and see this working. Now we connect this USB cable to this mini power bank and we turn on this mobile app. If I clicking this forward button, the robot going is forward. If I clicking the left, right, it's working properly. See now, when I clicking this forward, backward button, the robot will be going this direction. If I click in this left and right direction, the robot move in this direction. Okay. This one is the really cool and this one is the really small robot to we control this link app. Now we click this forward button and robot move in this cardboard. And if I releasing my hand, the robot will be stopped suddenly. See, if I click in the backward, when I release my hand. The robot will be stopped like that. This backward. If you try to make this robot itself, then please visit this www.justelectronics.com website. I publish this article and I will explain this all this function in details like circuit diagram, code, which component I use, and how you upload this code how you set up your blink app i will explain all the things in this details i hope you like this project and if you like this project please hit the like button share with all the friends if you new in my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel press the bell icon to get notification first thank you for watching have a nice day